checked the rain gauge. We've gotten 20 mils overnight. Not too bad. Just gonna go over here, a bit of change the rain diverter over. Let's go get some cows in and see what we've got in store for today. Good lady. Yeah, we're off to the cow shed. Go get milk. So we got a neighbor over the back there. Another neighbor there. Big cow shed over there. He's about a thousand cows that went the right one. There. And then our direct neighbor right beside us. Just over there. Yes, everyone's up early this morning. All our neighbors are up. We're getting earlier. We'll eventually be par with them. There we go, we just wound up the reel. It's a bit sloppy in this panic underfoot. So um, there is four posts left. We give them three a day, so we're gonna give them four. And then the uh, the carryovers and those beefies can actually come into this paddock and we'll put a fence up around this gateway. You can see it's actually the gateway's not too bad considering how uh when it's been so it's not made much of a mess at all. Ah uh, yes, it is. They are milking very well. Can just about flooded before. I was washing the cows. So the cows are milking very well this morning. Hey Dad. Yep. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Hi. Cows are milking good. Hey, we got some some leaks here. We've sprung a leak. Cow there sprung a leak. Heifer there sprung a leak. Cow there sprung a leak. And another cow sprung a leak. Yes, keepers. Oh, she's not even gonna get milked if she sprung a leak. Well, she's getting milked, but not yet. She's in the next row. Ah, well, they are milking well. Oh, we're we'll creeping up slowly. No, it would definitely not be a good time for a power cut. Her on. She's been acting up a little bit, so give her a scratch. Hey, straight under. Come on, Dallas. Morning. Getting his wet weather gear on. He's got it. Munchkin. Morning. I know where they're going, they're going the wrong way. Come on. Come on. Go on. Not many left in this mob now. Go on, girls, up we go. Come on. Up, up. Up, up. come on. Good girls, come on. Come on, slide it. Wash the plant, wash the cups, wash the yard. Right, let's go find some little bobbies. Going to Bobby Calf pen over there. <laughs> Can you pet them from this side? <laughs> the little cubbies. Oh, he's alright, he's just petting you. He's just having a scratch. Oh, Dallas, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, he's just attacking you a little bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> woo! You're home, Mackenzie. Yeah. Playing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Going good, Tessa. Oh, I picked the wrong way to do this today. Oh. Right, tagging the bobbies and then we'll carry him over. And into that trailer. Okay. Good morning. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Lay back a little bit. Tell them what it is. I still like how come it means to the city and no what? Yeah, all the way there, all the way there. We have a lot of bobbies here. And there's a bobby. Yep, and Daddy. Oh yeah, we we'll have them there. Yep. Now, we got how got. Ow. This way. Uh-oh. And now, another little car. Doesn't like it. Here's another one. Yep. Here's another one. And no milk. We're just getting another car. Yep. Another little car. Make something. Good job, Mackenzie. Climb up and have a look. Bye, right, Dallas. How many in there, Mackenzie? Six in there today. Yep. Cool, that's good. Thank you. Well, that's it today. Another six in the pen to go on the Bobby Lorry. Oh, seven for the Bobby Lorry. And uh, Carvies look all fed. Let's go down and get some uh, some nice new little Carvies. It's a cracker of a day today. A bit different from yesterday. Go the front of the other bike, Dallas. Right, okay. Time to go to the shepherd and come through, Dessa. Right, we'll see you, Dessa. See you soon. Everybody on board. Everybody on board. Because they're happy down there. They got their last break in that paddock. And we can the uh, carryovers and the beefies. We'll be going into that paddock where the cows are. up there. Oh good, one carvey today. Oh well, dad said it should be flooded this morning. Had 20 mils overnight so we'll have a look see. Yep, nope, it's flooded or there's even swans there. Look at the swans. Yep, it's gone back up again. Um, the fence is slightly underwater in spots. Mum down there. Cool. Let's go well. Just wind up this reel and I'll go see you later. Bye. Bye. So I've gotten a bit lazy at cleaning it out. Just cleaned it out for the first time in a couple of days and uh, that's what happens when you don't clean it out. The chunks form in it on the inside when you go to wash it next time. Start flaking off. What the flakes do is they block the little hole that allows the cause bag to go out the bottom there. So the flakes there. The flakes. Yep, blocks the cause bag spreader up. That's how it happens. So just gotta make sure we are a bit better at washing. Okay, well I'm gonna go down, go set up.
three fences, turn the irrigator around, and fix the water trough. And then I think I'll call it a day there. There you go, I've just shifted the irrigator, went from over there. This is getting close to the water trough to over here. So now we'll just run the line out. And take it. on the bottom of the post, stable post, good post. We'll go re-engage the irrigator now. There you go, so I've disengaged it, so this is a free wheel. And we'll re-engage it. And then we'll just give her a bit of a tighten up with the handle here. Nice and tight, ready to go. Moving. That's good. Alright, she's ready to go. Let's go put up some fences now. It's real amazing how much the wind pushes this reel around. Now run the tape out first. Now do the standards on the way back. Amazing how much it pushes them around. So, doing three posts and three posts today cows for the next morning and the next night morning. So come in here today, nice grass, lush tucker. There we go. Uh, two reels done, one there and one over there. Awesome. Well, let's get to uh, the next reel. One more to go. One with the hip. Oh, cows. You think they're full? They're full. All sitting down. Happy as all those little things. break. Really made a good job of it. Just, oh well. Let's go fix a water trough now. off to go get the colostrums in, well, the new carved colostrum cows in. These are our milkers. Not many in there at the moment. There's only about 120 odd, I think. That's all right. 829. Thank you, Thank you. This is the little heifer I was at war with. She's calmed right down. She's going to a nice little heifer. First row. She's in the first row. She ate all her meal and she's happy as now. Ooh. Oh, hey Dad, what happened? That was close. Very close. Lucky you stepped backwards. Ew. Ew. <laughs> yeah, so she's calm right now. I had a war with her a couple of, a little bit of a battle a couple of days ago and now she's in the herd and she's calmed right down. Good girl. Okay, okay well, like I say, spot the heifer. Cow, 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 cow. Heifer, 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 heifer. Dad's coming a heifer. Heifer, heifer, cow, heifer. Now my end. Cow, 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 heifer, cow, 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 cow. Hey, shall I, hey, Dad? Oh, yeah. I better start coming. We got one person to Dallas. Hello. Yeah. And I'll call him a Yeah. All right, let's go. I just shipped in the fence. I got Dallas on the motorbike. He's happy on there. Mackenzie pushing the standards in. That's good, Mackenzie. Last one. Oh, Carl's pushed this one in already. And we can set up the fence. 
Push this one down too. You're doing a good job. I put them in place and Mackenzie pushed them down. Hey? Yeah, we'll get some oranges on the way back. Right, through you go, Mackenzie. Right, we'll put it up and let's go get some oranges. There we are, we're all set up. Now she Grant has finished milking. We only went with the last row to go. Here you go, Mackenzie, almost. What have you got there, Mackenzie? A mandarin. Now this has got a mandarin too. Dad just went down and locked the cows away. I've just sorted out an empty uh, one that we found yesterday. Empty two-year-old, actually. She's not going to the sale yards. Uh, empty three-year-old, sorry. So, yeah. And Dad's bringing down another three-year-old who's uh, got a crop quarter, so we'll treat her tonight. And then we'll put her out with the colostrum mob here so that we can keep an eye on her and treat her again, possibly. There you go. They're all on their way. Down to their paddock. The uh, heifer we treated. We've treated her. She should be all right with two treatments be tonight and tomorrow night all right i'm gonna go in here dad's gone down to check the cows and the heifers to see if anyone's carved and i'm gonna go in here and start washing these cups won't take long that'll be back before i finish probably i was in the dead hole in the effluent tank we have got a bit of grass around our little propeller down there and i've got to lift it up from one-handed. He's gonna clean the glass off the little blade. Catch that. I, just, there it goes, no need. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. I can't lift it up one-handed. Uh. Yeah, we just got some grass off the stirrer. I think we'll call it a day there. Luck and subscribe and i'll see you all in the morning thank you dad's on pumpkin mound a lot of pumpkins grow on that little mound so you can see a couple of them there already and it's not even pumpkin season yummy that's all right right homeward bound